Дамы и господа, наш вечер становится тяжелее. В весовой категории до 91 килограмма. Шестой бой вечера. В красном углу октагона Владислав Ковалев. Владислав Ковалев. And again, might have to check 23 and me to see if he's related to Sergey Kovalev. He, he looks like he means business. A 21-year-old making his professional debut. This is light heavyweight action. Our first look at the bigger boys tonight in Minsk, Belarus. Freestyle wrestling champion. And has done very well in various grappling tournaments, but now being asked to put it all together, putting the mixed in MMA here in his debut on the road to MPG three. And of course, when I said MPG, I meant NFG, homeschooling, I'm in need of it. New fighting generation, as we say hello to Andre Zhukovsky. Zhukovsky also from Belarus, 24 years of age. He's one and two, so he has some experience. Was a bronze medalist at the Pancration Championship and Wushu Sanda, Wushu Sanda, Mr. Shamrock. Talk to me about Wushu. So you're just talking to me now through my microphone? So are you on? Are you on? Are you on like Donkey Kong? What's going on, man? Am I still talking to myself? So we begin the second half of the road to NFG3. This is fight number six. Got a perfect 10 coming your way. From Minsk, Belarus, the capital city of Belarus. Дамы и господа, в красном углу октагона трехкратный чемпион Республики Беларусь по вольной борьбе. Чемпион Республики Беларусь по грэпплингу. Чемпион Республики Беларусь по ММА. Многократный победитель и призер республиканских международных турниров по грэпплингу. Первый профессиональный бой. 21 год. Владислав Ковалев! Его оппонент в синем углу октагона. Многократный победитель первенц по ушу Саньда и кикбоксингу. Победитель первенств Республики Беларусь по грэпплингу. Трехкратный победитель международных турниров по ушу Санта. Бронзовый призер чемпионата мира по панкратиону. Победитель турнира NFG 13. Академия ММА Молодечна. 24 года. Андрей Жуковский. Well, the bison is one of the national symbols in Belarus, and I gotta tell you, Vladislav Kovalev built like a, a bison. Very thick, very strong. Will try to use his power to uh, try to take down his opponent, Andre Pivovarov. Both of them will try to smoke each other here early, I'm sure. As we take a look, tail of the tape, Zhukovsky has more experience and is three years older. 21 years of age, Kovalev, 24 years of age, Zhukovsky. Zhukovsky immediately getting taken down by the bowler. Is that Bison? Vladislav Kovalev, by the way, 
there is a difference between Bison and Buffalo, and it's not because one of them is a city. But right now, it is Kovalev really putting the squeeze on Zhukovsky. Came out explosive in the opening seconds of the fight, able to steam roll Zhukovsky down, and Zhukovsky now will try to weather this early storm, both in terms of the strikes, but in position as well. A lot of pressure being put on Zhukovsky here by Kovalev. Are you on the air, Mr. Shamrock? Are you able to see the screen and tell us what's happening? It's like a can opener choke here. And it's a can opener crank, I should say, although it was unique by Kovalev. And Zhukovsky does weather the early storm. Oh, straight right hand between the guard and Zhukovsky trapping Kovalev. Oh, left hand delivered by Kovalev, and as Zhukovsky gets to his feet, Kovalev putting the pressure on him. Zhukovsky able to get away from the cage, and now Zhukovsky is walking down Kovalev, who indicates he may have been poked in the eyeball. And they actually have stopped the clock as well, so there is a medical timeout here at M1 Global's road to NFG3. And it appears Vladislav Kovalev has been given the go-ahead to continue. Three-time Belarusian freestyle wrestling champion. And the fight resumes. Kovalev again looks for the takedown. Zhukovsky ends up in top position and has Kovalev's back. And Zhukovsky looking for the rear naked choke, but he's flipped off and maintains the grip. Are you calling it? What's happening? Do you have a screen in front of you? What's going on here, kids? Oh, there's a rear naked choke attempt by Zhukovsky. And Zhukovsky maintains control, but Kovalev now able to get back to his feet. Body lock. Oh, and the takedown. Wow, this is a, a battle on the ground for sure. Two bisons going at it. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Frank. Pal 2000. Under two minutes left in the opening round, and it's been a grueling affair already. Both of them working from their vantage points, and Kovalev with the ground and pound, but well defended by the longer limb. Zhukovsky trying to thwart many of these strikes, but needs to sweep Kovalev. And now just content to control Kovalev's posture. A minute and a half left in the first frame. Kovalev again, the right hand. Finds its mark. Zhukovsky trying to maneuver his way against the fence, gets tagged with a right, another right hand, and a series of rights by Kovalev, and some of them are finding the target. Ground and pound from Vladislav Kovalev, and Zhukovsky finally able to mute the offense of Kovalev. Meanwhile, how does uh, Kovalev escape? And he pops his head out. 
and dropping some hammer fists there. Another hammer fist. Kovalev, ooh, eats an up kick from Jukovsky, but it's now Kovalev looking to maximize the opportunity before Jukovsky able to momentarily control the posture, but Kovalev trying to find the target. Jukovsky very, very active from his back. So plenty of uh, action in the opening round. Kovalev securing the takedown. Zhukovsky able to defend well from the bottom and in fact go fishing for a few submissions. And survive it as well. And I think one of the reasons we've seen so much sustained action throughout the, the card is they're, they're fighting in a New York uh, apartment. Which again, I, I can see the benefits of doing for sure. It definitely puts the onus on action, but it also goes back to what I was telling about the referee. If the cage is that much smaller, then you gotta give the grapplers their opportunity too. Although those days, again, you talk about the evolution of the sport, you talk, but it's amazing when it goes full circle though. They say, oh, you can't just specialize in one discipline. Well, people, you can, you can. Absolutely, Nurmagomedov sure made a name of it. Uh, many people again the kicks there's certain things that people do again you have to learn everything but if your specialty is one thing that's still the best route to victory and we've seen it even here in the earliest of, of stages mm -hmm. Oh. And yes, and now it's Zhukovsky's turn to try to damage uh, Kovalev with the sweep, but now has Kovalev's back, so Zhukovsky will try to make the most of this dominant position as he has the back looking for the rear naked choke on Kovalev. Has one hook in, has both hooks in. Wants to flatten Kovalev's body out into a supine or make that prostrate position, but it's Jukovsky from the back. And it's Kovalev reversing now. So back and forth, some reversals here in the grappling on the ground. And yet Jukovsky looking for the triangle under three minutes left in the second. Of course, the more they fight, especially bigger boys, the sweat's going to start to come out of the pores, making it. Wow! Well, I thought he was punching him with that. And surprise, surprise, Andrei Zhukovsky submits Vladislav Kovalev. Yeah, I didn't. He's tapping his face. Wow. So Zhukovsky submits Kovalev here in the second round, and we will now make it official. Дамы и господа, за 2 минуты 14 секунд во втором раунде удушающим приемом 
Победу одержал боец синего угла Академии ММА и Молодечно Андрей Жуковский!